Hello guys, welcome back to episode one of King's Quest. I haven't done King's Quest, King's Quest ever. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Let's go to settings. That's pretty good, guys. I see we have play. It's a night to remember we're doing, guys. Even though it's not. Ow! With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. I'm pretty sure this is how you started off. Is that right, guys? I'm not sure if this is how you started off. second, I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. Please stay away from me. Please tell me this is beginning of this game because I don't know how to play this game. My hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn. There is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm um, known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. This but is weird. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, 
It's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. That's where it... Wait, where's Grandpa? Oh, it's probably not his room. <laughs> eh, I'm stupid. That's Gwendolyn's room. Gwendolyn, what are you doing? Ooh. What do you have? A sword behind your back? Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and we'll make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. I hate you. The courtyard you. will be filled with important like people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Good jerk. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Gart you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... ...thinking of a problem in a different way, and finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow.
After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road, the Hello, first road. sign of civilization. How's it doing? How you doing, Road? I have my, um, the only money to my name. Five coins. Hey, but at least I have money. I'm not poor. I have money, people. I am rich because I have five gold coins. I think that I'm pretty rich. have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So how did you catch up with them? I ran! I ran this way. No, wait, that's the way I went. Okay, how did I do this? But I'm not the grandpa, why am I telling this story? I jumped off the edge. Dang, it won't work. Okay, I went this way. It's a pretty nice forest. Hello, camera, you coming? Okay, see ya. Oh, there's a, <gasps> there's a bird. So many birds and this weird white stuff that's going in my face. Strange okay. tracks blazed a trail through the forest. It looks like grass to me. There's a bunny! Hello, bunny! Hey, bunny, you come back. Oh, uh, ouch. Okay. Run down, da 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 da. I want my five gold. Squirrel, you get back, you squirrel. I think that squirrel just committed to me. But whatever. Hey, bunnies! Bunnies, wait up! I want you. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Shame. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Yeah, and I have a hatchet. The small hatchet for using responsibly. <laughs> and now where do I go? There is no other place to go. Oh, this way. Oh, Ooh, there's a wheel. Why that is there wheel, wheel? seems freshly broken. Hit the frog. The wheel was already broken. No sense rubbing it in. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to walk down this way. This is actually a pretty long episode. I thought after Gwen like left the room.